A user on YouTube would like to see how stats and conditions can be used to achieve an overheal action where a player's hit points can go above their otherwise maximum hit points. And look at this very kind comment. I appreciate that. And look at those cute animals. I appreciate them as well. But I kind of like this nice comment better. All right, to achieve this, we have to do a few things. First things first, I have to set up a player character because we don't have one here. Let's create a very, 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 very quick player character and see how quick we can actually do it. Create a new folder. Our demo player is going to have a game modules actor on it. Let's save that. Add demo player to our demo player object. We have the actor right here with all this goodness. Let's also add a starting stats. And now we need some stats to start. Let's create some stats. In our stats module, we're going to create hit points. Hit points max, which will be your maximum, and hit points extra, which will be our secret hidden extra. And we're going to call this demo stats. Hit points is going to be a counter. It can't be trained. It can't be modified. Hit points max is going to be modifiable by others. Hit points extra is going to be modifiable by others. In our hit points, we will set the minimum to a float value of zero and a maximum a to the final stat of another. And for that one, we are going to choose hit points extra. This way, the point value of hit points is always going to be between zero and whatever the maximum final stat of hit points extra is. Well, what will hit points extra be? Let's go to our hit points max and click on stat effects. We're going to add hit points extra to that effects. And instead of doing a base or a per skill point, we're going to add a source from hit points max. And we're going to choose one value per final stat of hit points max. So this means that hit points extra will be given one for every one of hit points max. That way, without any other contributing factors, hit points max and hit points extra will be the same. Let's go back to our demo character here and add these points. We're gonna start with 30 hit points max and 30 hit points. Let's also post our final stat to the blackboard for all of these. And we'll press play to see if this is working so far. The stats are being added, but the owner is null. Owner is null because we need to add the start actions, which will call the start actions on our actor and set the owners to be the appropriate value. Now, let's give this a try one more time. Values are being set. Let's check our main blackboard. We have our hit points max right there, our hit points final right here and our hit points. Now let's create a condition that increases the value of hit points extra. We've called this one overheal and if we dig into it what we're going to do is give a stat effects and we're going to do hit points extra and we're going to give a value of 10. Just a value of 10. 10 extra hit points extra 10 extra hit points extra yes 10 extra hit points extra let's check out our time it's not going to be instant it's not going to be infinite instead it's going to expire in say 10 in-game minutes all right now let's create a demo button in order to give this to the player we will add that to our player here we will populate the player and populate the condition to be overheal and with space will be the same key, so we will jump and give ourselves overheal at the same time. Let's see it in action. All right, so we press space. Player hit points is now 40 out of 30. In three seconds, the player hit points should go back to 30. Player hit points is now 30 out of 30. The condition has expired. Let's see the code. All right, in the update, when we click the condition, give condition key, in this case, space, then we will call player actor add condition and pass in the condition that we have saved in the inspector here. And then we will set our hit points to extra. Set hit points to extra calls our hit points stat, set points, hit points extra stat, final value, and we will recompute this to be true so that the final stat is recomputed this frame instead of next frame. Otherwise, the final stat would be computed the following frame. Hit points stat calls player actor stats get 
and we're using the properties code to get our hit points. And similarly, we have a property for hit points max stat and hit points extra stat. Just makes it a little bit easier to write our code down here. Then we do our debug log player hit points, hit points stat dot points over hit points max stat dot points. And this should actually be final stat. And we set this flag has condition to true. If has condition is true and we do not have the condition anymore, player actor has conditions condition is false, then we will set our hit points to extra. Extra is now 30. And so we will recompute that this frame and set our hit points to that value. And I suppose you might have less than 30 hit points. So what we should really do is add a new method called clamp hit points to extra. And in this one, we will set the points to the minimum of hit point stat points and hit points extra stat final stat. So if the hit points is currently 20 because we've gotten hit by all the bad guys, then we will reduce to 20. We will set to 20. Otherwise, if we are at 35 because we've barely gotten hit by bad guys, we will reset to 30. Let's check it out one more time. There we go. So that is all you have to do in order to overheal a player. Now, from this point on, all you have to do is increase the value of hit points extra. And then in your code, you will have to have some sort of logic that will set the hit points to the final value of hit points extra stat final step. That's important because conditions and items and other things can affect hit points extra and increase that value. But that doesn't always mean that the player is going to have their hit points healed. So now let me demonstrate one other way of doing this that's entirely in the game modules condition itself. First, we're going to remove the set hit points to extra call right here. And now hit points will not be set. Hit points will stay at 30, even while hit points extra goes up to 40. In fact, let's put that here as well. Let's see this once more. All right, hit points is 30 out of 30. Hit points extra is 40. Let's create a new condition. We're gonna call this overheal and heal. Our overheal is a display name overheal. We want this to also be overheal. So we'll just change the display name to overheal. That way they are essentially the same condition. One just acts a little bit different. On overheal, we have a three minute time and a stat effect of 10. We'll do the same here. We're gonna copy overheal stats, go to overheal and heal and paste the modification list. So we have the exact same stat value there. We will set the time to be three minutes as well, but we're also going to do an effect on points. We're going to affect our hit points and we're going to give it a large number, say 999 hit points. So that'll add 999 hit points to the player when they receive overheal and heal. Go back to our demo player and replace overheal with overheal and heal and press play, press spacebar. And now we have hit points 40 out of 30, hit point extra is 40. The difference is now we are t adding 10 points to hit points extra, but we're also adding a thousand hit points to the point value of hit points. However, hit points is clamped. It's clamped between zero and the final stat of hit points extra. So no matter how many we add, as long as we can never go over 999 or whatever value that is, then hit points will always be clamped in that value. So now we have two different conditions. One is a overheal that does, just gives extra potential hit points to the player and allows them to go over their max and overheal and heal will do that. Plus it will also reset hit points to the max and you don't need to code for that specifically in your project. How you wanna do that is entirely up to you. Both methods are perfectly fine. There might be reasons you wanna code it and control it in your code. There might be reasons you don't. And I'm, I've left the hit points max as the theoretical max, even though we know we can go over because I'm assuming that your UI will keep the max hit points at hit points max, which is 30 in this case. And when you're over, it would be displayed somehow differently. Like, ooh, you're over the maximum, you're an overheal, maybe you have some really cool particle effects or something like that. But that is of course entirely up to you and your project. There you go. Hopefully that made sense and you can see how easy it is to set these up for your project. Have a great day.